guys, Ginger Cook here. This is Acrylic Painting Monday. Woohoo! Okay, <laughs> like that. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Was that your magic wand? That's my magic wand. It's a magic brush. I am now pronounced that all of you will have a marvelous time. Marvelous time. Learn and are tons. gifted with the feather brush of creativity. <laughs> Sound good? Doesn't that sound good? It sounds good to me. I'm almost falling for it. <laughs> just, almost. Just kind of. Go yeah. with the flow. Are we going with the flow again? Go with the flow. Yeah, this is, we're going to be painting some goldfish today just because someone says, why goldfish? And why not? I said, right? Yeah, <laughs> Why not, goldfish. right? And the background is another one that's kind of go with the flow. You really can't screw it up. You're just going to just, you're going to put some classical music on maybe at some point. Just no, start we won't. putting in a background. Just copyrights we, on that stuff. I know we can't put, we, I, I would love it if we could play music, but we just. We can't do that. We can't. But just imagine if we did play music, that's what I would play with this, right? Probably not rock and roll. How's that? <laughs> well, maybe rock and roll. But anyway. No, I doubt it. Yeah, probably classical. So here's the deal, you guys. We're going to not only be painting two fabulous Aranda goldfish, spectacular, but easy. And we are going to be showing you some fabulous new painting releases from our academy. Wait till you see what we've got going. We've got, of course, our giveaway from last week. Uh, we'll be doing the drawings for that and um, more surprises to come. So, John, I uh, want to say hi to John Little, our uh, cameraman, my significant other, and while he may not be in on camera you this week, you just are know seeing, he's you there. Are hearing. Just know he's there. <laughs> and, of course, we want to thank our mods for coming. And, of course, all of you guys for coming, too. So here, who is here, John, as we come Scooch. on down to this? I scooched. He scooched me on down. Here you go. So here's the – I kind of pre-painted this. I didn't kind of. I did. This is pre-painting. It's no, no kind so of here, friends. we hope you enjoyed the show. That yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. Good luck with it, right? <laughs> Don't, don't forget to share and let us know how you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So Serious. seriously, we've got a eight by ten canvas, and if you were gonna, uh, you just keep in mind that you know, like here's half the canvas, and if you know, and if we did it in four, so like the, the head's kind of above there, and we've got it traceable on the website, but. Uh, for orange and members and above, but I actually freehanded this one in. They're not that hard to do, okay? And they they allow for a little whimsy. We've got the, here's our little traceable, and uh, which we will do later. The trick is do the background first. And this is a good thing. This is a good background. If you have any leftover paint and you want to just do something with it, paint on one of these whimsical backgrounds. And the trick is to layer it, all right? So this is just a canvas that's ultramarine blue. And I'm going to take a large brush while John's talking about the moderators. I just want to... Oh, well, the moderators are wonderful. Thank you for coming, moderators. <laughs> Which moderators <laughs> have we got, right? I got to see. Who who thinks they're here? These these are our Salvador paints, by the way, that we're going to be using. And it's all their blues. And we'll have some white here. That's a titanium white from gold and a few little colors. These are kind of the colors of the goldfish. <laughs> so the trick is if you if you get a little bit of paint from each one. See, a little bit of the blues, and then maybe on the other side, grab a white here like this. There you go. See what I'm doing here? Who's and here, John, lovely. why I do this, right? Hey, we'd like to uh, thank moderator Judy, Liz, too, Lou Ann, and Steffi for joining the gang tonight. Thank you, and I, I, I want to thank Judy. She very diligently spent a long time on Jerry's um, Artorama showing us frames we Walmart. could get. So John spent an hour trying to buy frames, and every time he got to check out, they kicked us out. And quite frankly, we're not going to buy anything from them again. We're it was so a $600 mad. Order. $600 order of frames, and we could not purchase that for our little lives. And yes, we could have called them up, but then if we use a PayPal thing, we can pay over six months interest free. Okay. And those are frames that we thought we might like because they had them on sale. But quite frankly, the website was so upsetting. That jo it isn't worth it. John upsetting. So, Jerry, I'm going to tell you, we don't want to play with them anymore. They just made us mad. So, Jerry's has been written off our list. They're off our list. As much as I like their frames, and we'll sh we have some I'm today. Just, I hope I can find them somewhere else. Because I'm telling you what, because that's just, I mean, that's, you make as much money as that company does. That It is absolutely inexcusable 
to not have a website where you can actually get to the checkout without being kicked out of the cart. And you know John's kind of a technical whiz, and when you throw John off the cart all the time and he can't make it go, how frustrated must the average person go? And most of us just, everybody else managed to figure out Amazon being the main example of how you might possibly buy something and keep it in your cart long enough to purchase it. So <laughs> we're just, I'm throwing them under the bus today. They, if they can, they really need to up their game. See, I'm just doing kind of back and forth with the It was the very colors. upsetting. Every time I was done with the order, go, it took me a while even to get it to accept the order. Kept dumping that out. I finally got the order, got to the checkout point, and they said, where would you like it shipped? And I said, okay, I want to have it shipped here and dump the cart. And goes, you have nothing in your cart. What would you like to buy? Yeah, no, it was true. It was just and it I was just so hung crazy. Up. I, just, I closed the website and said, I'm not going to buy it. You're gone. Yeah, so, I mean, just as much as we would like them, we really would like stuff. Like, you know, it's fun. And I know you do, too. And I just feel like, you know, um, most of us just don't need. There's a little bit of green here. I'm going to add a little bit of green to this. Just a little bit of green and mix that with some blue and see what we get. That's pretty. Okay, so here we go like that. So here's some, you see how I'm doing this? I'm just kind of going down and across and I want it, I, I, you just want some layers here. Okay, that's pretty. Just come like that. And as I get down toward the bottom, I'll just put my, other, my probably the, one of the best blues is that light turquoise. Now, someone said, well, what would happen if you painted it over white canvas? The blues would be slightly brighter, and there would be nothing wrong if you wanted to do that, too. Like, for instance, here's some, like a little dark blue. See, I'm just kind of putting it in here when this is sort of a wide brush. We're not doing anything with this brush, but this is a cool brush. Somebody said, when do you use a brush like that on a giant, you know, like a 36 by 48 canvas? You'd use a brush like that. Can't buy these anymore. This is a Winsor Newton Galleria number 30. Which and, means absolutely nothing. And they're just, gosh, they're just the best brushes. But so I sorry, you can't the get time. them. And uh, Someone I mean, says if you log in, it'll keep your cart. Not in my case. No, John logged in and logged in and logged in. and I log logged in, put everything into my cart. Then I went to the cart, and there was stuff in there that Ginger put in a month ago when she wasn't logged in. But it came up. Yeah. And he, even though I was logged in, I said, okay, this is fine. I'm logged in. I'll go ahead and check out. No, it dumped the cart. Now, since I think it's great. You guys can get it to work. Yeah, we're just not playing with them anymore. Now, this is just yellow paint over the blue, and you see how I'm using the edge of the brush like this to create some just little um, uh, underwater plants. Because it's our yellow and blue make green since it's already wet blue, right? And here we go. Here's a little bit more of our. There you go, like that. So I just, I'm just creating a few little plants up here, like that. Nothing too fancy. Just you can see how that's this really such a simple background. Yes and yes. Easy peasy. So um, let's see. Let's do something a little dark here in this corner. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do with this right there. That was it, aren't you? I mean, and I think it is pretty. And if you overwork it, then you'll just sort of get a mess. Just kind of do something and then just stop, right? I think I want to take that off because I kind of liked it where it was. Here we go. There we go. You can do sound effects too. You like that? Sometimes sound effects are can be can be um, important. Can be important, you know. Just yeah. You need sound effects. Yeah. Yeah, so there you better. go. So that's, there's just not a lot to this. So you can use your different phthalo blues and greens and, you know, just keep it kind of in the turquoise, you know, kind of play with your turquoise a little bit and uh, see what you can come up with. And uh, make don't forget you need a little bit of white here and there just to kind of get it kind of murky looking. See? And then stop. Don't overdo it. Now I've got a little bit of a this is this paint's a little thick here. So I'm gonna just I think I'll just take a brush and flatten it out. And the reason being if I were just I probably would keep this normally. But I'm flattening it out because I need this to dry. Yeah, otherwise I would just go away and let this I just need it to flatten out enough where we can dry it for our, our purposes. 
But if you got a little of that ridge, that'd be still fine. Just sort of flattened it out a little bit like that. So uh, now what, what has to happen here is that, that we want to dry it. We do already? Yeah, I know. This is, We're this 10 is minutes just, into the show. Well, I know. This is because people don't understand how easy you can do a background like this. I mean, you can do just um, uh, such a cool, you can do such a cool background just with stuff like this. And what would happen if you. What are you doing? Could you, could you, could you even do some, let's just scrape out something. Well, apparently you can because I see you doing it. Yeah, you could if you wanted to. If it was thick enough, you could scrape out something. But, you know, just kind of give something a little depth. You can do that. Somebody says, well, could I do this background with a sponge? Sure, but this it's very effective with a big brush. You know, it just really is. It it's very watery looking. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And um, the other thing you could do is uh, you could do some drips on it, too, which would be interesting. I we already see what this looks like. You want to see what drips look like since we got a little time? No. No? <laughs> John's afraid. He's so afraid that man is fiercely afraid. Let's do something crazy. Let's take that big brush I talked about. And put some water. You're going to actually do this. I'm gonna you put, know, I'm still here. I'm going to put some water on it. No, no paint, just water. What happened if I added some paint? Ooh, let's do that. That'd be fun. Come on, don't you? Let's. I mean, this is Monday, for heaven's sakes. And you're going. What does that have to do with anything? Nothing. With Monday. But it's Monday, so here's some blue. That's pretty. I like the blue. Should we do that? You see, you just sort of touch it, and then tilt it. So okay. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. What did you do that time? I just, I've got that big brush. I got it pretty wet with just a little bit of paint. Okay. And then so what you do is you just kind so you're of staining tilt it, it up. With a little bit of blue. Gotcha. And I'm staining it with a little bit of this blue color. And you've got to have enough water on the brush or it doesn't, doesn't run. Now, someone said, well, could you use like a glazing medium? Yeah, probably. So there's, that's the uh, blue. And that's sort of interesting too, isn't that? That's sort of an interesting effect. Um, that you could do, and then what would happen if you did white? You're going, well, Geez, then you have white you're... streaks. I well, mean, they, they, is, it, is this a trick question? <laughs> Are they going to be red? If you use white, do they become red? I mean, I'm just trying to follow along here. Are you trying to trick me up here? <laughs> He's so easy to trick, isn't he, you guys? He's just so easy to trick, right? So, all right, so I got the big brush. I mean, why else would you do a big brush like this? You're going, I give up, Ginger. Why else would you do a big brush like this? All right, so let's try. Oh, I would have done more on the, yeah, that side. And you just sort of tap the brush like that. Wow, cool, right? Now, what is that representing in real life in an underwater scene? I'm just asking. I used to be a scuba diver, and I've got to admit, I don't recall seeing anything like that. It's called pollution. <laughs> <laughs> ah. All right, I kind of like it, but John, John is such a he's such a realist. We're doing abstract art here, man. We're doing fine abstract art. Come here. Fine Come here. abstract, fine. As opposed to unfine, right? Absolutely. What color are you doing now? I'm going to do a light blue on top of the white. Yeah, the white's a little too much, isn't it? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, just tone that white down a little bit. There you put... go, perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, that's right? how I do it. No. Well, good to know, John. Not at all. I wouldn't have. I would not have the guts to do that. Well, you know what? You you we 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 want it. So there you go. Now, that I think kind of looks neat. So, th so then what you do is we're going to take a minute. John, you got something you can do while nope. we dry this? Okay, you can't use a hair dryer with that. It's going to splatter everywhere. I can. Watch this. You're going to, you're going to splatter it? No. Watch this. Ready? Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. 
See? It's a little wet right there. Hmm? Now, if I mute her microphone, am I still underwater? Oh, she stopped. Never mind. I was experimenting. It's a little tacky, but um, still, I think it's probably okay. It works. I think it works. Now, see, it's a, if it's acrylic's dry, darker, even that white dry a little darker. And I think it has a kind of neat effect because we want some sort of interesting water effect. And I think it's more interesting, say, than this one. But, you know, you'd have to decide after we put the fish in what you like. But I, I think sometimes you just have to let go. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes it's just what happens? If, you know, what's the worst that could happen? You paint over it. Didn't like it. Whoops. Well, that didn't work. You know, that's the worst that could happen. You know, so... You know, that's okay, too. Yes and yes. So here's our goldfish. And uh, hopefully those will transfer on. I don't know if we did any kind of transfer paper at all, did we? Oh, I didn't bring you any. Well, that was, I so appreciate that, John. I like it when you think of everything. <laughs> we decided it's a good thing he isn't a test pilot or anything because he'd never leave the runway. Oh, did we need gas? Oh, gosh, you're right. We needed gas. Here's some, I, the, I'm just going to do this much. Let's see if it works. Okay. Just, now, if, I would get up and get you paper. Jeez, well, you, you might, but let's just see if it's even going to transfer, right? Not uh, that you can see. I uh, could use a white paper. I think white would be better than the red. All right, let me clean this. Here's the thing when John's getting for the paper. Do you know every once in a while, do you start looking at colors and your eyes just go and you just can't see color anymore? What you want to do is um, just stop for a minute and stare at something gray, kind of a neutral gray for a little bit and kind of reset the color, your color rods, you know, re reset your eyes. That's like a tip. <laughs> it's a really good one, too. Actually works. That's every once in a while you can get to the point where you just, you're just not seeing the colors anymore. Let's try yeah, let's see if this one... Wait, 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 cover your paint. What paint? Oh, this paint, let's just move it. There. Okay, yeah, okay, good thought. All right, let's see if this works, you guys. Shall we see if that works? I don't know, let's see. Come on, you. Are you working? Yeah. Yeah, it's working. All right, so we're just going to get our fish on here, you guys. Fishies. Remember, when you're doing, um, um, when you're doing stuff like this, um, run over the, um, the, the several line. times over the paper. You can't just do a line. You got to kind of almost scribble back and forth on it. All right, so just be sure you're doing that. Mm 
I would like to thank Sally for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you, Miss Sally, and also to Catherine. Oh, thank you guys thank so you much. Ladies. And remember, you're still part. You're, you're part of our um, quarterly uh, quarterly drawing for an original um, ginger cook painting. If you if you uh, next next commercial next time I have to dry something, I'll have John explain how that works. How you might win an original uh, ginger cook uh, painting. Uh, you can be part of a drawing for one. So let's let's now we've got the fish. Now, what is the rule about yellow? Everybody, don't speak all out at once. But you must remember, right? The rule I about remember, yellow. But I'm not going to speak out. All right. Not so John's once. not going to tell you. So you guys think about that. What's the rule about yellow uh, as we uh, paint these fish? And um, okay, your palette is nowhere in my screen. Oh, did you want it in the screen? Well, you got to move that. Okay, that'll work. Well, let's move this. What? what why? Is I this? don't know why that's even there. I give up. Why is that there? There, how's You're the that? artiste. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna put our, we're gonna paint our little fishies white. Paint white under yellow. Yeah. Paint white first. Yeah, if you gotta paint have something first. yellow, it's gotta it's gotta white have first. white first. And this is true. Now, for instance, if you're doing this, even sometimes it's helpful with red. If you're doing like a field of flowers, and you're gonna have some, say, poppies, you're gonna have some flowers that are uh, closer to you, and you want them a little brighter. Paint, if you put red against green, it's not going to look very bright. But if you put, if you paint the red flowers white first, they'll be brighter than the ones you painted directly over the green. So you can actually, and that's probably true of a lot of other colors too, but I know for sure that that's true of that one. Okay. So well, how they, are, Some colors are very um, translucent or transparent. They don't cover as well, and if you want that true color, you may want to put white down first. Yeah, that's true. What's the most opaque yellow? It's not CAD. No, I have a, a, a video called Adventures in Yellow, so it goes through some of that. Yeah, I look at that one. You know? Um, yeah, I would definitely look at that, too, if you were interested in what might uh, constitute a and PJ brings up a good point. Yellow can be lighter and brighter than white. Yeah. Especially if you could kick it to black and white to check your grayscale, you'll find that yellow will be brighter. Okay, so this line here is all one under here on his head. This is kind of one continuous curved line like this, kind of on his head like that on his tummy. These are fat little random goldfish. I'm going to say they look a little chubby. That's what they do. They get they're really cute. They they were um first came from Japan. Aranda's. So you can see where I'm trying to just, you know, I want to make sure I have enough white on there to uh cover the uh the blue. And then what I want the next thing I would want is um some, some zinc white because that's your transparent white. That was that interesting. There you go. Let's try this again. No, you that? can't. No, you can't use that one. Can't use that one. No, that's I didn't that know whole, which one you got. That's a Holbein one, and it's just all. Yeah, they separated. It's, it's totally separated. Just could you see that where it just came out? You, you can't yes. fix that. Just the emulsifier. Yeah, so that's um, separated. So, um, that's a trick too. This stuff comes, you know, like Holbein all comes from Japan. And the one thing I would tell you about stuff that's coming um, from, overseas. from overseas is you might want to open it and check, check it to see if it's okay. Because I'd say six months later, when you get around to using it, um, you can't really send it back. It's just either it worked or it didn't. And you know, and I find it's more likely to do that with whites. So, all right, so here's our, our, our zinc white. And what I want to do here is just... We well, have yeah, found like the golden this. to be the best one. Yes, I, 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 yeah. The most consistent for me is golden, and this is just gonna flow around here like this and lift up. See, and the zinc white is perfect for this because it allows for some translucency. And you see how I kind of keep the brush flat, and then this is coming out like this, kind of curves and back down. And here, so you don't want to use your. Um, your titanium for that. You want to use your 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 zinc. 
I think I want. Oh, no, to... Somebody's asking if I don't have titanium, can I use zinc for everything? No, um, no. Titanium. If you have one color, kind of paint, get titanium. If you all you have is get, just get titanium. You really have to have because... titanium is a must-have. It's it's one of those colors. Like if you don't have yellow, what can you do? You're screwed. You know, <laughs> it just have to have yellow. Okay, it's yeah, a primary have... color. White's one of those. You don't have it's to have black. Water. You got to have water. You got to have titanium. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of a given. So, um, and even it takes two coats to cover a darker color of even the titanium because it's not a hundred percent both. Yeah, black. yeah. So you can see already, I've got that. You sort of, sort of, just very quickly with the with the brush stroke. See, like this, it's going to curve it and twist. You do that so easily. So you kind of flatten it out. Now here, see, I'm going to put it like this. Like this, I'm gonna go real slow and then turn and then lift up. Turn, and take off, and lift up. And the same thing here. So I'm gonna come under here like this and turn and lift up. And it's all on one side of the brush. See that? Start here and there you go. And let's do the same thing with here. Just come on up here. Too, too much paint. So you've got. Um, Stop. What? You have the Oh, I got that in there. In emulsify it. in there. Thank you. I put it over here. Oh, let me just get rid of that. You probably oh, need that's to wipe a mess, it off. man. You might need to wipe it off your painting, too. I think I need to just tear that sheet off. Here. That's just some hot mess. Well, well it's a cold it's mess, hot. but it's a hot mess too. So there you go. Now where do I have to wipe? Oh yeah, look, it's on the painting too. Well, boy, once you get into stuff, right? Good thing I'm paying attention. Well, yeah, it is. It's not what somebody would have yelled, I'm sure. But you guys, what did you do? There you go. Just wipe that off. Then maybe I'll just take a little water and do it again. Because this is a, you know, this is the kind of thing where you wonder why nothing dried. That would be it, right? Yep. That would keep everything from drying. Not a good not a good look for your painting. Nothing ever dries. All right, let me just make sure I have that all off the brush too. That I'll just get a new one. Hey, we'd like to thank Sharon for the donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Okay, I've got this this one all on one side. Here, gonna twist, lift up, twist and lift up. See? You make that look so simple. And then you've got this little one here just coming out of his tummy. I'm putting these in now because we're going to cover them up, kind of. And uh, if you want it a little darker, we can do that later, but there you go. And then I want this one to be really spectacular. There we go. See, just the, you, this. This is what I'm going for: is the flow, and kind of exaggerate the tails a little bit. And uh, and you can see how we've got um, a good uh, group of you know nice wavy tails. I want to make sure this is. Here's my titanium. Ooh. Okay, there you go. All right, so now I need to dry this. Perhaps, John, you have to do a drawing or something, don't you? Yes, <clears throat> I do. John's going to do a drawing right now. Oh, for... wait. Why didn't it come up? Well, ah, he's looking. Are you? While you're looking, let me show you what we're going to be painting next week. Because of you guys. Can you wipe up some of that water before you bring my paintings over? What water? It's on the table. Well, that water. Gosh, what a good idea. John's always so thoughtful. He sees things. You know, we just had... Gee, Ginger must be fun to be around. She just makes continual messes, you know. <laughs> I, it's scary. My day it is, is never totally, done. It's totally scary, really. I get get into this artistic mode. And all artists have an artistic mode. That's my problem. And I get into an artistic mode, and then I just... Time just stands still, and I'm just in the moment. in In the zone, right? Sounds good, doesn't it? 
I'm sorry, did you need that cleaning up? I was in my artistic mode. Artistic mode. Huh. Okay, um, so. So what are you going to show us something? Oh, yeah, I lied. I was going to show you something. So uh, we have got the coolest painting for uh, an our, our academy uh, for next, that's being released this week. Uh, probably toward, uh, I think at the date for this release is Thursday. And that's yeah. our gal painting in the um, in the Wyoming wilderness. Now, what's no, neat? Be Montana. Montana. Okay. So, <laughs> what's neat about this is that you could customize it and maybe even put yourself in the portrait. I think um, if I wanted to make that look more like me, I'd probably add some silver hair, and maybe make the coat a little wider. Maybe, but you know, maybe I just imagine myself thinner. I don't know. But <laughs> you know, you could have fun with that. I think you could you could kind of. I think that you, you could make it yourself or just keep it just the way it is. Anyway, I think this is really cool. And uh, with my, my daughter and I, Cinnamon, were talking about um, plein air painting and what we hate about it. Okay. Paint's dry. Paint dries faster than you want it to. There's bugs. The wind blows and knocks all your stuff over. The easel's tippy. They're just, we were, we thought we should do a poem about all the reasons why we hate plein air painting, but I love the idea of it. Do you know what I mean? Just like, I think the, I like the idea of mountain climbing. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> make sense. The idea sounds good. So, you have any of those where that sounds so fun, but the reality is a little more scary because trust me, I've been out there and haul, this stuff is heavy. They haven't changed these dumb easels since um, Van Gogh and their wooden boxes and with a strap and that's, and, Try picking one up in the art store, and that's before you loaded anything in it. Then you still got to have your water because you don't always have a nice little stream like she's got. And um, it's a it's a challenge. But um, anyway, I love the painting, and I love the idea of plain air. So this is um, uh, this is our take on it. This is my yeah take on it. So I thought you might like that, and that's just something that that and you know with our pink membership you could. You don't get get, get purple art coach. Uh, you don't get personal art coaching with our pink, but you can just uh, you know buy a week uh, and then just you know find a lesson you want to do if you want ever want to do that if you're kind of pressed for time. So that's something to think about too. And um, speaking of cinnamon, uh, I've got to tell you that uh, we are down to one spot left in the art seminar. Only one. That's coming up soon. And that's coming up soon. And I tell you what, it's, uh, you know, first uh, week in May is of the art seminar. And if you were thinking about going, I was, as a, I told Cinnamon today, I said, I think there's probably one more person out there who would want to come and enjoy the luxurious retreat there out there in Pennsylvania, in the mountains and, and, and the Poconos. The Poconos and, uh, the, the, the fabulous meals, the gift bag of all the goodies and art, the personal art, the personal attention from both Cinnamon and myself. We divide the classes up into uh, uh, in half, and so some I'll have the you know half the group in the morning, and then I'll have the and then Cinnamon will have the one, and then we'll switch, and we'll be working on some fabulous stuff. Everything I'll be teaching acrylics and how to use the palette knife. And we're talking about using some of the mediums and the, that kind of thing. And Cinnamon's going to be doing both acrylic and watercolor. We've got some surprises. We'll all be eating dinner, hanging out. We, you're just going to, it's an all immersive thing with my da daughter Cinnamon and myself and John and John. And um, I think her kids are even going to show up too for uh, after school. They'll probably come in and pop in and say hi and probably eat with us. It's going to be fun. I'm excited about meeting those of you who have decided to come. We have one more spot. So here's what John and I decided to do. I'm going to give to the last person, and I asked Cinnamon because I didn't want appreciate everybody doing it. I'm going to give an original 8 by 10 painting. It's going to be a surprise to the last person that signs up. So if you think, like I say, we only have one more spot. So if you think that's something you might want to do and you're going to do fast. anyway, act now. Don't you delay. Can, you can go to Cinnamon's uh, website, the theartsherpa.com. Artsherpa.com, and like I say, one spot left, and it's so fabulous what we're doing and all the goodies and stuff. It's a luxurious trip, from the meals, the gourmet meals that are served. Everything's included: your and meals, your bottle of water, your coffee, your desserts, all of us included. Your hotel, all of us included. And if you want to bring a significant other, there's plenty, plenty of stuff. You could just pay separately for them because they're not painting. And she's got a special price for that. 
and you can they can eat with us and um, you know go play golf or go paddle a canoe in the river or something you know stuff for people to do so you don't have to come by yourself and um, we'd love to see you there there you go all right that's that dried what do you think of that could you straighten out your palate please could i i could Thank should you. i yes all right all right so what what do we know for sure? Well, we know that the the fishies are kept these round, fat little yeah, bodies. Yeah, you even get the art supplies during the event. Yeah, you get to take home all the stuff. You get to take home pers your own personal professional brushes. The stuff you get to take home is phenomenal. I'm not going to tell you what's in the gift bag because they want you to be a surprise, but it is so cool. You're going to go home with loads of stuff. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and John and I are going to have a special gift for everybody in their gift bag from us. On the gift bags, we you know I talked to Cinnamon about it. It's a, there's a, there's a, oh gosh, it's going to be so great. Those I'm telling you what, and then I tell you this too because our schedule next year is so busy. Cinnamon's this may be the one and only time for some time where Cinnamon and I get to do this together. It's going to be terrific, and so I, if, you, if there's any way you can come, I really invite you to try to try to come. There you go. All right, I've got some yellow here. I guess I'm not going to do my drawing now. Yeah, John's going to, I'm going to have to draw again. So here's my. Oh, I'm sure. Here's some yellow. This is that bright Salvador yellow, which is kind of pretty. Is um, it green? It's what? It's it's a kind of a yellow green. I'm okay. going to put some white with it. Okay. It's like a yellow green. And then it's got the, like, like this is, we're going to start with that, right? We have it and a little bit right here and, and just a little bit on the face, right? We'll start with we'll start with a lighter color because we're going over white, so we want to start with the lighter, and then we can build up, uh, you know, a darker yellow. So, for instance, we know at the top, see here's a, this little yellow oxide and the other yellow that Salvador's got. And so we'd make that a little darker here. And see, and here's like that. We're coming around. This is um pretty easy we would probably do the orange last and so let's take a, take this little angle brush and um bring it around right along as billy yeah and uh then i want to just come up with a little bit more yellow right here okay well, we'd like to thank andrew for the donation that came in through the paypal system thank you andrew oh thank you Glad very much andrew there. i don't see you commenting so well thank you, you must be out there somewhere thank you andrew appreciate it very much um, I don't know if any of you have ever had the fun of having goldfish or not. I, you know, I've had tropical the fun, fish. You know, I like to curl up with my goldfish and pet them. Uh, what do you do with a goldfish? They're very friendly, John. They come over and say hi when they know you're going to feed them. They know things. They know things. <laughs> yeah, because they're starving. <laughs> well, of course they're going to come over and say hi. Uh, well, Just asking. I know. He asked some strange questions. Don't you guys think so? I asked strange questions. I just want to know. Well, maybe we should get some and you could find out the joys of goldfishies. Uh, yeah. And um, I, anyway, I, I used to have a coffee table aquarium. And I had a, I had these. Um, they weren't really goldfish. They were um, cichlids. They were what? They're called cichlids. And they're, but they look like kind of like a goldfish. And uh, that was fun. And then I had another big aquarium. Sim and I both have had aquariums. And then I had another big aquarium. And I had the small fish. And then it kept getting bigger. You know, they do that. They, they, they'll they get as big as the tank, the size tank. So put in a bigger tank, they get bigger. It's one of those things, right? And um, so anyhow, the um, uh, upshot of this was that the fish got to be so big and the tank was falling apart and it had a long time and the tank needed to be replaced and we were just sort of over the fish and so we decided to uh, turn him loose in the neighbor's pond give him because he could t stand the temperature changes this particular fish this big giant fish named conan because he kept getting big that is a very big fish and um uh I'm going to take while I'm doing this and telling you this great story. I'm going to take a little of this magenta in blue. And um, this is my kind of my mixing uh, palette here. And I want to just sort of a purple color. And I want to do a little bit of just kind of stain this white here a little bit. Right here on his tummy. 
like that. And I'm going to do it over here too. Anyway, so Conan got to be like a really big. And, um, so I wanted to put him in the neighbor's pond and uh, my <laughs> ex-husband thought it was a good idea. Well, I didn't want to kill him. Here's the thing. He wasn't well. I didn't want to kill him. I thought he'd have a happy life in this neighbor's pond. And George didn't ask anybody. He, he just, just uh, he just did it. And Conan loved the neighbor's pond. He liked it so much he ate all the guy's goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> so wonder we still speak. <laughs> he is so mad. Porter Renner was so mad for so long over this goldfish fiasco. <laughs> It's really very funny, actually. Well, it was I mean, he didn't find it funny because he had, he had been nurturing all these little goldfish in his little pond. Now, keep in mind, his little pond was the size of somebody's hot tub. It wasn't very big, you know, kind of had. Um, but it was bigger than the aquarium that Conan was in. And like I say, we think Conan quite enjoyed the the feast. The feast, you know. Yeah, I bet he did. So we want a little bit of just kind of we want to stain this with a little blue here now. See, I'm just going to say some of this is some blue here. Just there's a little bit of this on here. This is his a little bit of a shadowing. Just we got to give him a little bit of a shadow. We want to bring some of this back to his tail here, like that. See, so you don't you you want it pretty. You just it's really like a stain, like a coffee stain almost. You don't want too much. You just want to suggest it. You can always add more color. That's the trick. Here's a little bit of purple. Your magenta and a little bit of this purple color that's one of their ones and then let's take some zinc white somebody said there you go so here's some zinc white that's it won't be as light but I want a little bit more color in here so I'm just gonna few little dots of this just kind of to add that in there see so that just suggests that there's a some scales or something but you want to kind of build up to those these colors because they're kind of hard to get back. So that's what we're doing there. It's just building up to the scales. Now like you're so. using your angle brush. Yeah, I just I use those so much. I use the back of it and everything. But anyway, I, I if we I like I like fish. They're very calming. You know, very very calming. The brush is calming. That's good to know. So when you get anxious and excited, I just have to whip out an angle brush and go, here. I said the goldfish. Come. I said, I didn't say brush. He's getting a little hard of hearing, aren't you? I said, I like the. <laughs> didn't you I say like it's calming? I like the fish. Goldfish, not the brush. I like the fish because they're We were talking calming. about the brush. And yeah, so it's calming. But then I changed. I'm sorry. I am paying attention. <laughs> Keep up, John. Keep up. I can't Keep get up. in your head. I'm sorry. No. I'd get lost in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cupcake, that's fine. Yeah. We're going to put a little bit of cad yellow out, which is a little deeper yellow than is in your Salvador kit. Cad yellow medium is just slightly deeper. It's a little bit more pigmented. And um, I'm going to just add a bit more here in a couple places. You get a little brighter yellow. Yeah. And um, so I needed a little bit brighter yellow here, back here. There you go. I just needed a little bit more here. So I can always put the um, the orange in, which is, you know, your, you know, I love Arandas because they can, let's see, I want a little red, kind of a red orange. So this uh, cad red medium would be a good color for this. Well, they got uh, a good see. one, don't they? Uh, yeah, cad red medium is an excellent color for this. Um, Have you ever painted on mixed media paper? And if, or, and if you have, what do you think of it? Uh, well, I don't really paint on a lot of paper because um, uh, because it's a little more challenging to frame. And, um, you know, paper's not inexpensive. I have picked, painted on, like, mi mixed media tablets, and I think that's just a selling gambit. This little cad red here. It's a, you know, I'm not a, as big a fan of that as you might imagine that people would be. Okay. 
So um, now we need to come back. I'm just tapping this on. I'm not brushing it. I'm tapping it. I want some lighter. This is the, the lighter orange in the Salvador kit here because it comes back here. And it's just a little bit on the tail. These Aranda in the in my reference photo were not the same fish. I mean, they were the, both Arandas, but their markings were different. Kind of like, you know, how zebras are not exactly the same. Um, well, Aranda aren't either. They're all a little bit different. And this one uh, had a little bit deeper red here on the bottom. And something lighter on the top. And... Um, it's just interesting to me how, how the fish kind of differed. And, you, and, they're, and if you've ever looked at one, they've got, they're kind of bumpy on the top. It's all bumpy, like they, like their brain was orange and it's sitting on the mm -hmm. top of their head. Oh, stop with the ooh stuff. But anyway, it's kind of a little bit like that. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that and lighten up that orange up there. So you just sort of tap some colors in, you know, it's just kind of this layer thing that we talk about. Um, and I want to make sure this is curved more. Okay, it's all right. So you wouldn't think that there'd be that much to it, but there it is. Um, now for the eyes, what we're going to do is we're going to take some white and um, just put the, put the eye white there. And uh, what color are their eyes? Oh, uh, well, they're white and black and yellow. Oh, okay. So this we're just going to start here with the, like a... with the white, and this one has a little bit of kind of like an orange ring around the eye, right, like that. And about from about twelve o'clock to six six o'clock, it's uh, or you know, it's um, a little bit fatter, and then it's a skinnier line from 12 this way and the other one was just kind of there's your there's your eye right like that so those are their little eyes and uh, then we'll take some of this color here and and these are these are these little detail brushes and let's put a little put a couple little gills here maybe a little bit put a yellow oxide and red that's a good one to do Make that a little darker, and uh, kind of bring this over the back of his head like that. You could probably do the whole um, uh, painting with a small brush too if you wanted. But you know, just keep it like that. So there you go. So there's our. Um, just small little layers of stuff, I guess, is what I'd tell you. But then I want to come up here and just sort of take some white paint. And um, it's too much paint on the brush. Too much water right here. There's just, just... So, okay, so you're with me now. There, there's a lot of white right here, but my brush is probably a little bit dirty for that, but we'll still, we'll do that a little bit. Just, again, it's, everything's about layers. So we're going to just let that dry a little bit and then see what else we've got. So you want to do a drawing real quick, John? Can do, my cleanness. I'm just kind of darkening this up on the top part of his head like that. Okay, we can do that. We can do a little drawing. Are you gonna dry during the drawing? Yeah, I'll dry. What a good idea. I I want to dry because I don't want this orange to get into everything. Yeah. Okay, you dry. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a drawing for the Salvador paint kit first, I guess. We we'll use the comment picker, and this is the lesson from last week. After the show, you'd want to come in if you want to participate in the contest. And we give a hashtag word you put in. And then Salvador Kit, if you're in the continental U.S. of lower 48, they're not shipping outside of that right now. 
So if you're down down in the U.S., you can put Salvador Kid in. Um, last week we had hashtag abstract, and we're gonna go for the Salvador Kit. And this week we're doing the big tube of Salvador paints. And the boss will have one handy that she can show us in a moment. The Salvador big kit. Hold on. Should. Well, you should. Interesting. You had one there earlier. Oh yeah, one of these, right? This one? Um, yep, that looks like the white one. Nope, it's not. It has a pallet with it. It looks like that, only bigger too. <laughs> All right. Okay, this one. The 0.4 ounce, flip yep. it over. Yep. Yep, that one. But you, we can't see you yet. Okay. Salvador kit. All right, let's find out how many people we had to participate in that. We had 46. We had one chance of 46 of getting the Salvador kit. And the winner is Anna de Costa. Cool. So, Anna, if you're out there, you should contact us and make sure we have your mailing address. Okay, back to you, Queen. Okay, so here's here's the Salvador kit. This is from Salvador, not from us. I sent it directly to you. And... Uh, this is absolutely awesome. Th these are wonderful. John and I use these all the time. We travel with them. They're really great. And we want to, I think you're going to enjoy it very much. And incidentally, speaking of enjoying something, I want to take a second and thank uh, one of our viewers and friends and uh, from Susan. She says, thank you so much for giving me the tools to create art. Such a beautiful way. Art has brought me so much joy. I, um, oh, let's see. And so have you, John. Thank you so much, uh, Susan. And uh, there's the card. Isn't that neat? And that was the card. And then what? look at this. Check this out. This is a fabulous keep all your drinks cold cup. And lay like it down that. so we can see the see? style. With the roses. Isn't that pretty? pretty. That's just beautiful. Very artistic. Very artistic. Very beautiful. So thank you, Susan. That was really very kind of you. And we appreciate it very much. Okay, so now we've got. Hydrated. Yeah, so thanks very lot for that. And then the other thing I want to just—I know this sounds like show and tell, but <laughs> um, and it is sort of no question about it. But we have um, the, we we showed you what's coming up next next week, but we have got some amazing tutorials coming up soon, and this I think is pretty much scheduled. Here's our. Oh, are, so um, apparently we're showing something. Hey, John, why don't you back up a little bit? Back, oh, back okay. up, John. John. Back up, John. Yeah. This is, Ooh, the carrots. I love them carrots. Well, you know, this part of our food collection, we have a collection of paintings of just food and cabbages and, and apples and all kinds of stuff. And I think if you've been doing those, this is a 8 by 10 and we think it's just a kind of a perfect size for the kitchen. If you're decorating around that, you could, you know, frame it a lot of different ways. But we thought this is a really fun academy lesson that's going to be coming up soon and then for those of you who remember one if some of you guys andrew probably remembers this so uh, years ago when we first started the academy we had some very simple one cookie two cookie lessons we had a wolf and eventually the the, the video got degraded we took it down and we had to replace the wolf I, we got people said where's the wolf and so john's going to back out this is a 12 by 12 a wolf and, That's Max. Uh, and, and it may Max, and uh, that will be one of the tutorials coming up soon in the Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. So Acrylic Painting with GingerCook.com. Um, this we think is, you know, a, you know, really one of the fun ones. And then I got if you back way, way up, like the way back machine, John. Oh, I love the way back machine. John's going to back way up and just remove this one, and. Uh, this week, our Wave and Water Masterclass is going on Tuesday. This Look for this on Tuesday. That'll Here's be tomorrow, our, boss. What? That's tomorrow. Yeah, that's tomorrow. <laughs> look for that tomorrow. <laughs> Gee, John, I love it when you get so technical. <laughs> so this will be released tomorrow. So those of you in the Wave and Water Masterclass, the purple and the uh, blue members, will have an opportunity to do this. Twenty. This is like 18 by 24. 18 by 24. We did a very small one of this some time ago, like 
not a hundred years ago. Hundred years ago, this is the uh, from one of our old old dead guys, and it took a little thought to paint this. I think you're going to really enjoy um, this because it's a different way to paint water. I just, uh, and I love all the colors in it. Look at all the greens and everything in the way the light's coming in the storm and everything. And you see part of the shipwreck. We never put that in the first one and the little one. I think you're going to find this to be a really fun one to do. Um, it's a box of cookies, but... Uh, take your time. Take your time with it. Send it, in, send it in for the person or coaching as you're going. Yeah. Don't be struggling. Don't wait until you're in and then you go, uh-oh. So... Anyway, that's what we have here. Now we're just going to come down here and take a little moment and work on our uh, our, our little fishies again. Yes and yes. That'd be a good idea. So I think it's time to put in the to put the eyes in. So I'm going to take some white paint here. Let's see. I want. There, I want, I want to en enlarge the white a little bit, that area. Th these little brushes we found, they're for models. They're for, like little toy soldier guys that people paint, you know, those things. And there. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know how people that have little figures and they paint them? Yep. And they have special brushes. This yes, is there's a whole, whole so we got a whole stack of these, like, for really cheap, and I really like them. Because they, um. They're a good they, brush. They're an excellent brush. So I'm gonna just I'm using a little white now and I'm just gonna do a few little details on the fish. Uh, I wanna come back up here and kinda I want it whiter right here, just a little bit more white right here, so this kinda shiny white right there. Shiny white right there. Okay. So just kind of reshaping our fish a little bit. Now you could use a black Posca pen for this if you wanted to, to do the eye, eyeball on this guy. What is the best way to choose a frame if you are not near a frame shop where you can take your painting and do it together? Good question. Uh, I guess you got to decide where it's going to go. Um, I generally do not recommend if you're going to be selling paintings, framing them to sell them. I'd rather have you buy gallery wrap where you kind of paint around the edges and stuff. And um, John, if you will back up real quick, I want to show people what that is. And there's a reason for it. Let me just move this out of the way for a second. Um, the gallery wrap, what, what you want to do, let's see where this go is and for those of you who are not familiar with it is it's got the wide edge see that it's almost like three fingers wide and let me just show you the painting this is an academy release that's coming up very soon i think when did you say this one was coming john soon soon we don't know this <laughs> is our I can uh, look it up this on my is calendar. called egyptian a lotus flowers and it was originally uh inspired by uh, martin head who did so many of our great um magnolias and so forth and anyway uh, but this is That's done may 12th. on may 12th it's a, what, what is it may 12th for that one may 12th yes when when, when we're going to be releasing this and what's neat about this is you don't frame it you just hang it like that with a wire and so if you're if it's if you can afford gallery wrap you know, for your pictures, that's a good thing because then here's what happens when you're selling your paintings to people is that I like it, but your frame's chip. Can you give me a discount? Or I will buy it, but I hate this frame or whatever. So um, let people pick their own frames. And if you're talking about picking a frame, pick something that will go nicely in the house as well as go with the painting. Kind of keep it neutral. Uh, kind of maybe work more on the color of the wall. Generally speaking, if you can afford it, it's nice to have about a, a nice wide edge. It will make a, a painting look a little more, if it's wider, like three fingers wide, it'll give something a little more importance than if you keep it in a skinny frame. And again, look for, look for frames on sale. That seems to be an important thing to do. Look for frames on sale. Uh, the... Um, 
and you know, good luck. Uh, you maybe I, we really have quite liked the Jerry's frames when they're on sale. We just find yeah. it very frustrating time to buy one because you want you want to have enough frames in there where you can get the free shipping. I need a little bit of a shadow on the top of this, top of this eye right here. All right there, you go. There you go. It's a little shadow on that one. And just a little. Yeah, the lotus maybe. blossom is a twelve by twenty-four. Yeah, isn't that isn't that isn't that a cool picture, you guys? I mean, so many different ways to paint things. You can have so much fun. We don't try to teach you how to paint like me. We try to show you how you can paint so many different things, and then find the thing that really just um, makes you excited to paint it. Uh, that's that's why you you know when you're an academy member, some people think, well, she does this every week. I should um, I should uh, for sure um try to keep up with her no 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 you don't want to do that you want to just find the things that are interesting to you and paint those yes do that i'll just put a few of these in here like that and now the other place you can kind of do something with a picture like this is you can come in here like this like for instance here's some blue and you can come in like on on your fish here you can come back with some of the of the color of the water if you if you need to reshape your fish a little bit just come back with a little blue and then just kind of you know you can, you can reshape you don't have to um necessarily you know stay within the lines just know you can take some blue and come back here right so if i wanted this a little more narrow i would just come in there with some blue maybe a little white with it and just do that too much white but anyway that's the idea is that come in with a little bit of paint and just kind of reshape your fish a little okay so now the one thing that to make the fish feel like they're more in, in water you know one thing we could do is we could um, come back with our other brush one of our ang angles or something like this and come back with a little bit of the here like this just suggest that there might be no. um something uh in in front so let's see let's just get get some green out here you know you've got all these beautiful colors in the salvador paint kit can you guys see my palette here can you see all my colors? They're so well organized. Well, they don't have to be organized, do they? <laughs> I can see the I can see the colors, right? Uh-huh. Sure. Do you know the name of those little brushes? Oh. Uh, have to have my little box right here. Yeah, these they, they come in uh, they're filled they come in a little box like this, and it's called um Arteriga Design. Seventeen premium quality brushes. They're designed in Spain. Interesting. But they're made in China. Designed in Spain. All right, so I, John John knows him. He can explain all. I just um, all right. So I'm going to come up like this with the darker um, something I didn't do in the first one, but I might just come up here and just put this fish in in the water, and by by just having the um, uh, maybe something coming in front of it see what i mean so now if i want to i can go back and maybe exaggerate a couple of these now it's had a chance to dry okay so so now now you can feel you can see how they're swimming let me just move all this out of the way because we've we've given them a um a place to be does that make sense? We, we were giving them a, a place to be, and that's what you want to be able to do. 
A happy when, place to be too. Um, you want to be able to do that. So let's see, let's see, something a little bit lighter yellow. Um, oh, I know what I want to do. Just a little bit here with the, want to widen this up here like that behind his head and put another little layer of orange on top. So that's one way to paint fish. This is a more simplified version. You can decide which way that you like. You know, what what kind of, you know, I like, for instance, some of this blue in the tail. So I could maybe go back and do that. I could maybe take a little bit of this blue and white and just add a little bit of, of blue in that tail just because I think it's pretty. Okay. And... You know, those those are some things you can do. I really like how this this tail comes all the way up here like that. Just bring that up like that. I like that a lot. So those are some things. You want to try one more time, John, to do another drawing? Uh, just let me just see if I can do something down here on the on this. Uh, just using the edge of my brush, I'm just kind of planting something in here in my aquarium. And, you know, that's something that that's, you know, this all gets down to personal, you know, what do you want to. Um, what do you want to say about your fish? That's what I'm talking about. What do you want to say about the fish? And so that's that's what I would say. Think about that for a minute. I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow and come up here like that and straighten that back out. Right like that, there you go. There we go, there we go, like that. And John's gonna do another drawing, okay? And I'm gonna dry this and do the final stuff. We're doing the drawing for the downloadable. For the downloadable lesson, you're gonna mute me while I dry it? Yeah, I got it on my browser thingy. Okay. Yep, you're gone. Yep, it kinda. There she is, gone. Yep. All right. So we're going for the downloadable lesson this time. The keyword, I believe, was abstract. Yep. Put the abstract in here, and we have 67 people. And we get to comment. 67 to make sure. So the lesson we're going for is for this one, the downloadable for this particular lesson right here. It's called Wild River, I think, or Wild Waterfall. And the winner of that lesson will be Deb Tori. Deb, if you're out there, contact us and we'll add it to your account. You back, Queenie? Wait a minute, I gotta find your button and move you over. And there we go. Okay. There you are. Oh, it's already been framed. You went to the framing shop. I went to the frame shop. I just wanted to see um um you know what it would look like. I thought you might want to see it too, what it would look like in a frame. And I wanted to do some final stuff to it, but I thought I would just do it in the frame so you could kind of see what I was talking about. So I want to... The final touches. Final touches. Like that. Okay, let's put the the blue back. Let's see, where's my... There's one more color here. I'm going to use a little phthalo green. I think I need to pop this up a little bit with some phthalo green. So. Okay, so I like that color. All right, so just. It was fun. Sometimes you just, you know, you see something you want to do, and I want to exaggerate the curve on this. And I want that color next to the orange, which is sort of this turquoisey color, and exaggerate how fat his little tummy is. So that can be fun. Okay. Now, what else could we do? Maybe just something fun. 
So I never answered any questions at all tonight, John, did I, about anything? People probably ask questions and why I'm doing the last little things. Right? Well, no, you answer the ones I've asked. Do you, Other ones sure? we took care of. All right. I've added those brushes to our store, Amazon store, if you're looking for the exact ones we're doing. I do like them. I don't know, I thought some bubbles might be nice. Maybe, I, you know, if you get them too big, you can always go back with a little bit of color and tone them down. But that might be kind of fun to do, just a you know, a little bit of color. Let's see what else can we do. I think I want to change some colors with the green. I want to do something a little brighter because I've got these bright colors right here. So what can I do? Can I put will that show up? Hmm. Might. Um, Never know. You don't know. So um I know I want a little bit of a white mouth right here, just a little tiny bit right How here. How big of a space is your studio? Three car garage. And that's just one of the rooms. That's okay. where we do the filming. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's what, but yeah. Okay, so I just need a little bit exaggerate from that. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's sort of fun. I, I like the idea of, you know, you know, putting a little something over the fish to make him look like he's actually, um, you know, in the aquarium and swimming. And um, I think that's kind of nice. And um, I think almost, uh, let's see, what else? One more thing. I think that for me, personally, right? I know they're very bright, but here's some zinc white, and I'm going to just put that over this fish right here, over his face. Just tone that yellow down a little bit. See what I mean? Was it a little bright for you? It was just, it was a little too bright. And so the one thing about somebody who says, well, what else does zinc white do? So zinc white allows you to... Push uh, back. Just, you can push something back. If you, if it was too much, you can just, if the, if the yellow was too much... You can push it back because even though it's there on the and in real life they're very bright. For me, I just want it a little less bright. Does that make sense? And I maybe would rather have a little bit of this orange coming down here on his head. Oh, just sort of soften this a little bit. What are your fish's names? Well, we don't know. Well, Angel no, no, and Gretel. John, John doesn't see the the wonderful advantage of a beautiful goldfish. So no. how would we know? John doesn't think goldfish are marvelous. Can't warm up to a goldfish, sorry. Oh, he's so silly, right? Uh, let's see, what can I put here? I want uh, something on my fish. There, how about this? I've got it. You know, when you put your brush in water, what happens is that it, it collects. I checked the Amazon store for the brushes. Why are we talking about these brushes? Those are the little fine point modeling brushes that Ginger's been using for the fine details. Oh, I've been using those for everything. I just love them. We're just sharing. Yeah, we don't care if you get them. Just somebody nope. want to know where you got them. We, That's what we, we just we just put them on our Amazon store to make it convenient for you. So you know what we're talking about. So yeah, yeah. So you know what we're talking about. There you go. All right, I think that's what I've got, you guys. I will sign it. Do we have a name for this, boss? What's the we name did, of this? We lesson? could use a good name for this fish. So think in mind if we how we should title this painting. So that somebody might want to look for Arandas and find them. So if you got any ideas, I'd love to know what they are. A title for this lesson. Yeah, we need a title for it to, to put, put on YouTube. Besides two goldfish. 
besides two goldfish. If you've got any ideas for it. All right, so I wanted you to see the difference between you can keep it very simple or you can make it more complicated. So you've got you've got options, yes. And uh, I see one thing. Here's another. I want to come under here like this and just uh, this eye got too big. Well, right here's here. a good question for you. If you wanted to show that these guys were in a fish bowl behind the glass, do you need to put some sort of reflection like you do on a jar or bottle? Well, I'd be tempted. See, one th I would be tempted to put. I don't know if I would on that one. Maybe some mixing wine at an angle like this. I, and you were looking through the glass. I didn't say. Versus... Maybe even drip something down again here. <laughs> Do you want to do it just for fun? Should we drift something again and see what happens? What if we hate it? You know, you already saw how to paint it, right? So it's not like the end of the world, right? Well, it is. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Twin Goldies. I like that. So, um... Dos Nemos. Oh, God. Dos Nemos. So, um... Does Ginger ever sell her paintings? Yes. Matter of fact, we're going to have an auction coming up in... July. So I guess if you wanted to simulate that it's in a fish bowl, yeah, you'd have to have some kind of reflection on it. Yeah, and but you can't get it too busy because we've almost got it too busy with all of this greenery coming up here. Do you see what I mean? And the drippage. And all the drippage. We got it pretty busy as opposed to, say, this one, right? So to me, I'm almost part of me wants to drip some more stuff down it. It's going to go to the fish and stuff. Yeah, to put them kind of back. But, you know, the, then you got to ask yourself, what, what, I had this really wise old lady tell me, she was like, I was like 18 and she was like 27, so she seemed really ancient to me at the time. <laughs> and you got to get the contacts. So she said, ask yourself, what can I take away and not ruin the effect, right? So, I'd for say instance, if we, if we, if we were to drip, you're not dripping like that. No, I'm just saying if we were to drip something down here like this, like that from the top, does that add anything? I don't hate that, right? How about Golden Girls? Uh, but but you gotta. We need a title that someone's gonna search for. No one's gonna look on YouTube and say Golden Girls. We need something <laughs> has to do with goldfish, right? And so that. And what if we said that there were. What if we had some flowers that kind of something on these flowers? Little, well, not flowers, but just something on these little. See, I mean, just something on the things. But I don't dislike this this little bit of wavy stuff coming down here like that, because that that's an interesting thing. And then you'd have to say, well, if you did that, uh, would you flatten it out and just? And, and that's kind of pretty because it brings your eye back down. And then, but see, because we dried everything, you could just take a little of it off or maybe use zinc white. And now you've got, I think that's kind of pretty. And the same thing here, you could come up again with this. See, from the bottom, you could come up like that and say that there's something going up that way. Uh, does that add anything? If, you, if it doesn't, take it off. But dry in between. So I guess the whole idea behind this is let loose, have fun. Um, you can always paint it again if you don't like it. See what you can do. So you've got the examples of you keep it really clean or do something else. There you go. Yeah, you could, you could do all of those. And I'm, I'll tell you what, next week we'll do some, we'll probably do some flowers next week, something really fun. But I hope you had fun with the fish. And I I had fun with it, too, John. Did, you know, hope you guys did, too. Um, you know me. Oh, see, where did that little black brush go? Those little black brushes are so handy, these little tiny ones. What's our question? You know, the que that's the question for the week, is that, you know, what should we tie? We need a answer pretty quick, you guys. <laughs> But, you know, here's, we'll put some bubbles going up. Yeah, like that. You know, we'll put some going up and, 
you know, so see what you can do. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics.